What's up traders, two trades today, one on CFG and one on BE. Let's get to it. Real quick traders, before the live trades, don't forget to look for that gift card. It might be in this video, it might be in Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday's video, who knows, but it will be there. Thanks again for all of the support you guys give me by hitting that like button. That's what really entices me to give away these gift cards and show my support back to you guys. So with out further ado don't forget about the discord if you guys want to continue to talk throughout the day don't forget about the discords down in the description below here's the live trades nice pop through we started here we got 53 feels like it's topping again here nice little secondary push We're gonna hit it here, 68. We'll put our average at 24.60, well, 60.5. Seeing if this wants to give us a little bit more. Looking through 25.10. Give it one more little chance here. And we're gonna hit it there. Felt stuck at 25. What did we get there? We got 96. It's gonna put our average at 24.72. Well, obviously, see if this wants to keep running. This thing's really extended. Coming down, we got our order sitting here at 66, 75, 71, 69, 67. Oh, we we're one penny away. It's trying to come back down. That was a pretty big move down, so that's not good. Probably going to get a bounce here. That would have been nice to get 75% out there. I'm gonna add in here. We actually got 86 there, which is kind of interesting. There's 85 on the bid. Put our stop in high of day. Trying to add to the backside here. Tried to go back high of day, did not quite get there. Now we're looking for this to be a little bit of the bouncy ball effect, right? Looking for sloppy seconds. But in this case, we're still in the trade. So we're looking to try to add to the backside get our average up a little bit as well as look to add some more shares to our position and we're only risking off high of day for these added shares which is nice we're gonna add again here 91 actually got 90.5 put our stop back in here at high of day as you can see that pop through 25 and the fail uh, it's a really good sign that we should get a little bit of continuation of the downside that's gonna put our average up to 24787 here we go coming down we're gonna get loads 75 percent we're gonna put it at 66 again see if we can't get that drop down and flush through that previous area 75 seems to be where the support is currently coming down 80 78 77 remember the quicker the move the weaker the trend so we don't want this thing to just have all the selling pressure at once and then bounce back up just like it did before just getting ready to possibly reduce here it does seem to want to keep finding support at 75. I'm going to put my finger on the button here just in case. Coming down to that previous support right around 70. Here we go. It's trying to hold here. It doesn't feel like it wants to break through. We're going to take it there. As you can see, it did pop right after we got it. We got 73 there. I thought we might have got 75. So we're out 75% here. See if we can get the 70 break. There it is. Right back through though. 66 see if we get 66 on the ask not quite 67 we probably would have took it there even if we didn't uh, take it before because uh, as you can see it went right down on the bid it went through but on the ask it did not so it would have been interesting to see if we would have got our fill there but it is popping back up here now we only have 25 percent of our position left trying to get more shares out here at 57 for the 50 test but it's looking like it's finding support here at 70 over 75 we're probably going to take out a little bit more here get down to some remaining shares. there we go so through 75 we decided to take it off now we got 10 percent of our remaining position as you can tell we went off that previous candle figuring if it wanted and just like that if it broke that candle figuring it might try to squeeze up a little bit just like it's doing that way we're taking off some risk and now we can look for the remaining 10%. Uh, pretty emotionless. Uh, see if we can get it to come back down towards that 50 area. 
Um, but now if it does decide to go up against this, we'll probably look around that pivot area of 25 um, for an exit, which uh, we'll just use high of day if it does want to get there. But most likely we will see if we can get this down towards 2450. All right, there's the break of 60. Let's see if we can get down towards 50. We just cannot seem to get these jumps to our orders today. 57, 56, 53. Fifty-four. See us sitting there at fifty-two. Fifty-three. Fifty-three again. All right. We're just going to take it there. We got filled at fifty-six. As you can see, as the story of this trade is basically being one penny away from our order and just not being able to get filled. Uh, pretty much, uh, yeah, every single one of those orders were manually covered just because we couldn't get it, couldn't get it filled. So, uh, ended up being a decent trade here on CFG, so I can't complain. And uh, we'll move on to the next one. All right, traders, that was my trade on CFG. Unfortunately, I didn't get the trade on BE. I was in it, but it was a little bit easier, and I was pretty focused on CFG there because it was kind of going against me. I wanted to make sure I wasn't messing up. I tried to go full screen at one point, but for some reason on OBS, I must have messed up the full screen button because it wasn't showing my full screen. So I couldn't show both trades at the same time. So sorry about that, but we will go over it real quick here. So scrolling in on BE, this one was pretty pretty self-explanatory. Um, this thing actually ended up getting away, but uh, since we were in it, but previous resistance sitting here at 950, busted through, we were going up towards 10, felt the top right there around uh, around 10, and uh, we hit a little bit earlier than that. As you can see, we got our fill at 985. The top was actually at 988, so pretty good entry. This thing dumped pretty much right away, given about 50% of that move back. We took 75% off at 966. And then it came down, tested that previous resistance. We didn't really have many shares left because we only got the starter. So instead of trying to scale out um, that one extra time, we just took it all. And it so happens that it used that previous resistance as support. And as you can see, that thing's been climbing ever since. So pretty good trade there on BE. Over to CFG, this thing was interesting. So Got to start here. We were pretty early. Previous resistance we were using right here, 2430 area. Um, jumped up through 2450. We decided to start it. And we actually used, uh, when we first pulled it up, the scale was actually 10 cents. Um, but it was squeezing really tight, like you can see here for the 15 cents uh, currently. So I actually clicked the 15 cent button, which you can see is 100 shares. So that's what we started with. Then as we got into the trade, it actually went up to 20 because we had it scrolled out a little bit, as you can see. So it went pretty much right from 15 to 20 as this thing continued. Um, but anyways, uh, what I'm getting at with that is I felt like I was in a little too heavy. And when this thing kept going through up towards 25 after our first end, our first two entries here, I kind of let it work, right? I wanted to see what it was going to do. And after that, you can see that we started towards the backside. It kept trying to go high of day. We had, we had a stop here. We were going to stop out if it went high of day. Fortunately, it didn't quite get there. We started to form these lower highs. And this is something that you don't see me do. And it's something that I need to start doing, which is why we started doing it today. Um, but starting to feel that we're doing the bouncy ball effect, right? The sloppy seconds type thing. However, as you guys saw, we had our order and we were, we got one, it didn't fill down at 2467, but 2467 was on the bid, but it never printed lower than 2470. Um, but it didn't miss our order by a penny, technically, I guess four pennies if you wanna go off of where it was filled. But that was a little frustrating because then it popped right back up on that same candle and tried to go high of day. Um, it lingered around up there and then finally we started to get the drop down and then we started to get the little bit of a bouncy ball effect. So once I realized that we were trying 25 again and we failed, uh, we decided to jump in. Um, actually, we jumped in before that on this one. We were kind of basing it off of the 25 test failing. And we started to come back down. It did pop up right after we got this entry through 25. It failed again. So that's when we decided to add again because, hey, uh, we were risking these basically all five days. So we weren't really adding too much risk, also bringing our average up. And that's what really made this trade a winning trade. If we never get these two ads in, um, we would have had to wait through all of this chop as well just to get green on the trade. So uh, the fact that this came down, both of these covers were green and we and it took the emotion out of the trade, which allowed us to wait a little bit longer for this over here. So 
can't quite complain at how this trade turned out. I was really happy with myself adding to the backside of the move, especially after realizing we were a little bit early, letting the top form and then adding to the backside instead of trying to just guess on the front side and get too heavy too quick. And if this thing wanted to continue, um, we, we could have been uh, SOL. So pretty happy with the two trades today. I'm not going to lie. Um, felt like a good step forward. We ended up making almost two times what our daily average is at the moment. And so every time that we do this, it's going to keep raising itself up. So hopefully we can keep going with it. And that's all I have for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Hit it. Hit it. We're almost at 2000 subscribers. We're going to be doing a nice 2000 subscriber giveaway when we finally get there. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.